Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's still me, Dr. Nubia Agatha. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, you're the author of knowledge and understanding. We continually ask for a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, today we are going to look at the concept of log reading. Log reading is like a sister or brother to indices. Okay, what is log reading? Log reading of a number in a particular base is the power, the power to which the base is raised to get the number. Okay? The power to which the base is raised to get that number. For example, you see, 8 is equal to 2 raised to power 3. This implies that means you raise 2 to power 3 to get 8. So, it implies from the definition of log reading that log of 8 in base 2 is equal to 3. Right. 25 is equal to 5 raised to power 2. This implies, it implies that log of 25 in base 5 is equal to 2. Log of 25 in base 5 is equal to 2. Why? Because you raise 5 to power 2 to get 25. All right. 100 is equal to 10 raised to power 2, which means log of 100 in base 10 is equal to 2. 1,000 is 10 raised to power 3. This implies that log of 1,000 in base 10 is equal to 3. Okay? So, generally, if you have log of a number B in a particular base, if it is equal to Y, what it implies is that what? S raised to power Y is equal to B. Good. Now, what we are going to do now is to learn those rules, the do's and don'ts in the garden of a log reading. Anywhere you are, you should learn the law, the rules that is guiding that place. So now, what I'm going to do is to let you know the rules and do some simple examples involving the rules. After that, I'm still going to give you the proof of the rules. Let me not just go to the proof now uh, so that I don't scare some people away. Some people don't like proof. But it's a very vital thing. It's a very vital thing in mathematics. Because the proof helps you to reason logically. Okay? Let's now go to the, the laws, the rules. Okay. Log A in base A is equal to 1. Why? A raised to power 1 is equal to A. Any number raised to power 1 is equal to that number. If it is not raised to power 1, then it cannot be equal to that number. If it is raised to any other power, then you evaluate accordingly. Okay? So we have, if you have something like 2 now, 2 is 2 raised to power 1. Okay? Now, log 1 in base A is equal to 0. Because any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Eh? 
A raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Remember, A any number. 5 raised to power 0 is equal to 1. 2 raised to power 0 equal to 1. 100 raised to power 0 equal to 1. Any number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, log M times N in base A is equal to log M in base A plus log N in base A. A. Okay? Let's take this example. Log 1,000. Log 1,000. 1,000 is 10 times 100. So, log 10 times 100 in base 10. You know that log 1,000 in base 10 is 3. Okay? Because if you raise 10 to power 3, you get 1,000. All right. Now, we want to show you, the law is saying that it is sending us saying log 10 in base 10 plus log 100 in base 10. And it is actually true because log 10 in base 10 is 1 plus log 100 in base 10 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. This is equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 3, giving you the same thing as what? Log 1000 in base 10. Okay. Now, we have another one that says that log of a quotient, log of m over n in base a is equal to log of m in base a minus log of n in base a. Okay, so if you have something like log of 8 over 4 in base 2, what's 8 over 4? 8 over 4 is equal to 2, and log of 2 in base 2 is equal to 1. It is the same thing as doing what? As saying log of 8 in base 2 minus log of 4 in base 2. Log of 8 in base 2 is equal to what? 3. Because if you raise 2 to power 3, you get 8. It's equal to 3. 3 minus log of 2, log of 4 in base 2 is equal to 2. That gives you 1. Observe that it is the same thing as log of 8 over 4 in base 2. Since 8 over 4 is equal to 2, log of 2 in base 2 is equal to 1. Since you raise 2 to power 1 to get a 2. Good. Now, log of n raised to power p, n raised to power p in base a is equal to p times log of n in base a. We illustrate it with this. Say, log of 81 in base 3. Log of 81 in base 3 is equal to 4. How? From the definition, log of 81 in base 3 is equal to 4 because you raise 3 to power 4 to get 81. Okay? But a line of in line with this law, observe that this you can write as log of what is 81 is 3 raised to power 4 in base 3. And this is what? 4 log 3, 3 which is 4 times 1 equal to 4. So either way, either way is, it is equal to 4 here. 4 is equal to 4. Good. Now, log of x in base a raised to power n is equal to 1 over n log of s in base a. Let's illustrate this with log of 3 in base 27. Okay, observe that 27 is 
3 raised to the power 3. So we have log of 3 in base 3 raised to the power 3. Okay? This is equal to 1 over 3 log of 3 in base 3 equal to 1 over 3. Okay. Let us see. Let's look at this example, this illustration again. Log of 3 in base 27. We want to evaluate it. Observe that we are looking for the power you raise 27 to get 3. Okay? Now, let, let's go this way. Let log of 3 in base 27 be equal to x. So we want to get the value of x. Now, we say 27 raised to the power x is equal to 3. 3 raised to the power 27 is 3 raised to the power 3. Okay? Equal to 3. What do we have? Indices of the same base. Indicial equation. Therefore, 3x is equal to 1. What is x? Divide with the coefficient. x is equal to 1 over 3. Applying the law, see that it is uh, the same thing. Good. A raised to the power log x in base A is equal to x. Hmm? So if we have something like this, say 2 raised to the power log 5 in base 2 is equal to 5. Simple. Hmm? Observe that the log here, the base must be the same thing as this. Let's look at another example. If you have something like a 3 raised to the power log 81 in base 9. You look at it, you find that this is 3, this other one is base 9. So they are not of the same base. But you can do something. 9, you know, is 3 raised to the power 2. We have this 3 raised to the power log 81 in base uh, 3 raised to the power 2. Okay? And with the other law, we saw that this is the same thing as 3 1 over 2 log 81 in base 3. It's not yet of the form. It's not yet of that form. This is 3 raised to the power log 81. 81 raised to the power half. Base 3. Yes, now it is of that form. Because here the coefficient of this thing should be 1. So, we don't say it is equal to 81 here. No. It should have to be, the coefficient here should be 1. So we have this equal to 3 raised to the power log 81 raised to the power half in base 3. Now you have 3 here, you have 3 here, and this is 1 here. So this is now of the form, of, of the above form. And so you have this as what? 81 raised to the power half, which is the same thing as a 9. That's square root of 81. That's 9. So we have another one. We call it transformation rule. Log of B in base M is equal to log of B in base A over log of M in base A. We normally use this when we want to change the base of a particular log reading given to you. You can do that. You can change your base. So you're desired to a desired base, but do it properly, okay? 
like this one now is to is change to base a so you have log of b in base m is equal to log of b in base a over log of b over log of m in base a supposing the desired base is uh, base b you have that okay for example if you have something like uh, log of uh, say 3 in base 2 log of 3 in base 2 is equal to 1 over log of 2 in base 3 okay depending on the problem you are solving if you want to change your base to base 3 that is what you do so we end it here for today thank you for being part of us i still call on you to subscribe if this is your first time of being here with us subscribe to my channel and may god bless us all in jesus name amen bye